Robin Margaret, um, Ministers. I believe that stringent new me measures need to be introduced by the Department of Health, Agriculture and Business to reduce the transmissions of COVID-19 in meat factories and protect employees. The rapid increase in, in the transmission of coronavirus in meat factories is of very serious concern. It's a concern to the health of the employees and to the wider agri-food sector, of which, meat, of which meat processing plays a key role. Maintaining the food supply chain is essential, but so too is the health of employees in meat processing plants, as they play an integral role in facilitating this, cha this chain. The number of positive cases in meat plants has increased, we're told, by more than 300 to 828, according to latest figures from the National Public Health Emergency Team. Minister, I have, there's four of those um, major meat processing plants in my own constituency. That's the APP plant in Care and Nina, Ashburn Meats in Ros Grey and Rostera plant in Ros Grey. Could we have figures um, for, for the amount of cases in those individual plants? I also want to raise two other issues, Minister Creed, in, in the remit of your department. And one is um, the, the boatload of cattle that was destined for Algeria um, this, this week. There is huge dismay out there among the farming community, the fact that this boat has now gone to France to be filled with cattle. It was delayed a week previously and now it has been cancelled. I think we need a full report, and this is the only forum where we got the opportunity to ask these questions. I think we need a full report as to how this, cat, this boat was not filled with Irish cattle at a time when we need competition like never before in the marketplace. And farmers, you know, this was the first time in a long number of years where heavy cattle had an outlet um, live out of this country. And it's a huge disappointment to, to livestock producers that this boat has now left our shores. And the second question I want to ask you is COVID-19 related, and that is to the greyhound industry. And the greyhound industry are extremely disappointed that their date for resumption of dog racing hasn't been brought forward like, the, 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 like horse racing. And we welcome that horse racing is set to resume behind closed doors on the 8th of June. But managers of dog tracks around the country assure me that they can um, adhere to, to social distancing. And they cannot, understand why, they cannot understand why at this juncture they have been divorced from the horse racing industry. And I would like, Minister, if that decision would be reviewed and that dog, dog racing could resume on the same date as horse racing.